Hello, 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 Beef Squalor here, episode 257, and we are in the 2031-32 draft. Um, I can see why they call it 31 now, because it's based on your 31 record. And uh, the Atlanta Falcons are on the clock, and so when I went and looked, it, it didn't line up right. There, there were changes to players and stuff like that. So this draft should be really interesting. Um, I, don't, I just, I must have been really overtired and just blew it on that one. But I think, I think they're going to take JT Mile. Wide receiver? Nope. Dwight Marks, 22-year-old quarterback, hit a six combine. Uh, he's going to get the plus 10, so just like the Saints quarterback, he's going to be just downright phenomenal. And he is in the Saints division, so they get to deal with that. I uh, read Maddox next, or the left tackle. Quarterback Jay Sims, Jameson Sims, the fourth person on the draft board. Um, he will get the plus nine, so he's going to be a lockdown corner pretty quickly there. We look at like, yeah, because it was a n last year, 97, 95. So the top two picks usually are in the 90s and the three, four, five are in the upper 80s. And then it changes after that. So, but he went to the Washington football team who's picking second. Remember they were, uh, they were, they were our, they won too many games. They lost out. Now they get a corner cornerback instead. And there goes the left tackle, Aki McDonald, 23-year-old. Going to get the plus uh, eight, so he'll be pretty phenomenal, don't you think? And next up is the center. Nope. Middle linebacker, Emmanuel Ortejera. Very good combine, 22 years old. Didn't scout any of these players because we don't pick till way later. Leaders. Fifth overall pick gets a wide receiver, JT Miles. So he fell off the draft board and then he was back. It's very strange whatever happened here. I don't know, but he was ninth on the board. And went to the Eagles. Let's get ahead in the draft and we get the defensive tackle. And I bet you that puts. The Dolphins back into the top 10. Because they were the Bears. They were just below the Bears and the Bucks. With 50 points. So the Dolphins are going to be the top drafting team. This is their ninth top 10 pick. Point wise, they might not, though. We'll see what happens. All right, he was a uh, defensive tackle, Luke, 24-year-old, oof, six. A great combine for a defensive tackle, athletic. And next up on the draft is right outside linebacker, Eric Werner, 22-year-old, 7.4 combine. Texans. Next up on the draft, Bud Dupree, the right tackle. Ronnie. Why did I say Bud Dupree? That's funny. Raynor Dupree. Eighth to the Colts. And the next up on there is Copeland, the wide receiver. 15th on the board. Went ninth to the Bills. This is the last of the bonus picks, and that is the center, and he was second. He's 21 years old, so second on the board. Could have a really solid center there. And the Bucks, who did not get in the top 10, taking left outside linebacker. Shard Sells. And 
right, next up on the board is middle linebacker Nathan Felia. 12. Niners. And now the Bears pick. They take wide receiver Joey Vickers. And he was 20th on the board for the Bears. We still have a long ways to go. Middle linebacker, Philip Lasseter. My goodness. Steelers. Got some people that have fallen. Gary Payton has fallen. Left tackle. Lerone Rogers, 24 years old. He was sixth on the board, taken 15th by the cards. And next up is Gary Payton. Nope, cornerback. Cornerback. Taylor Garns. Garners. Garns. Garns, I think. 16th. Chargers. And the 17th, the Saints, who had a great quarterback, take left end. Sean Royal. Wow. 17th, he's 24th on the board. We're getting close to people that I started to scout, and we're not even close to ours. As our first, first scouted player has fallen off the board. 18th. To the Cowboys. 24 year old wide receiver. Late round, first round talent. Taking 18th. A little bit of early, I think, for a 24 year old wide receiver. Um, this is a right guard. Chance Mackey was 16, 14th on the board. Taken 19th by the Jags. And Minnesota takes cornerback. All right, so this is the one who was 52nd on the board, and then when I went back, he moved all the way to 22nd. He's thinking about the Vikings, and he is a late second round talent. I don't know what happened there. He's 21 years old. I think that they overdrafted there, um, but... We shall see. I just need to highlight some names now. We're starting to get in that point where it's hard to tell who hasn't been selected yet. Gamble. Freddie Gamble. 20, 12th on the board. Just highlighted his name. 21 to the Browns. Way before me, so I didn't look at it. Um... Devon Warworth. Now, this guy right here, this could have been my first round pick. But as you can see, he's taken, what, seven picks too early? So that goes to the Titans. That's unfortunate. That was a, a, a good looking. Pick that I was kind of. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Rams. Rams. They, they're going to pick. Left outside linebacker. Nielsen. Okay, so this is not the left outside linebacker that I thought. I don't have him on the board. Nope, no Nielsen on the board. So there's the first one that wasn't in the top 32 of the messed up. Hepburn is the linebacker that we we're kind of looking at. They have the best combine in the top 32. Panthers. Next up is the Patriots, and they take defensive tackle. Hayes, there goes another one. Oh my goodness, we are just not um, not excited about that. Uh, 25 to the Pats. And next up on the board is the Seahawks. And they pick 
right guard. Okay, this is Hunter Revis. He was um, early first round talent, and the Seahawks picked him. It's always the Seahawks. They're just they're just messing with me. E six. I was that was that was my guy there. That was definitely the pick for me. I need a right guard and team or a right tackle. You need to know he's 25th on the board. Didn't scout him. 21 years old. 27 to the Giants. And KC picks wide receiver Meskawa. I don't think that's on the board at all. Our pick. Let's look at what options we have for tradeaways first. Second round next year, this year, second and fifth, drop them back. First next year, second, sixth, second, second. Next year's first and second. Uh, next year's first and second, a little higher up. Next year's first and a sixth this year. Next year's first and a fourth. Next year's first and a second. Second, third, and fourth this year. And on our board, this is where it's going to get tricky. Got Darius Church, a right end. Late first round talent, 27 years old, 20, 23 years old, a seven combine. Um, Kevin Con Crowell is a early second round talent, right guard. KJ Weldon is a non is a red player. Joey Horn is a mid-round second talent. Safety, is this the one that has a really good combine? No. And then a run blocking right guard. So realistically, it's either trade away the pick or one of these two right here. Run block, impact block. Very strong, decently fast, late first round talent. Look at our roster. What's what's our right end look like? Oh, um, can't see it that way. I gotta do it this way. That's Case and Wim's side. Case and Wims might move to uh, the other side of the field, and we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pick. Okay, we're gonna save it first because if this is a real bad bust and it's just all messed up, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. But let's just let's just save the 32 draft real quick. Darius Church, welcome to Green Bay. Slow development, what the heck? 92 strength, 78 speed. Why am I just so blessed with the slow development players? 31st in true talent. My goodness. Well, you know what? He is a 76 overall, so... I mean... He, he's gonna be... the immediate starter, and we'll see if we can get rid of that slow development somehow. And we had 
good success with Adrian Best. He was slow development too. It's not impossible, you know. He's a big, strong guy, so I'm okay with that. Crowell. Red Guard Crowell went next. Kevin Crowell. So we'll have to see how that um, plays out. As that is number 30 to the Bengals. And the Detroit Lions wreck. That was the right tackle I did not scout. 23 year old. Oh, and they traded away. It actually went to, um, they traded away their pick to the Washington football team. And the Super Bowl winning, haha, <laughs> they beat the Lions. <laughs> Bam! Lucas, a wide receiver named Lucas. Nope, no nope, wide receivers named Lucas. Let's look at after the board is done. Board stands that Gary Payton has dropped from 19. He's 24 year old. Nash. Oh, Mooney. Oh, yeah, Mooney there. Let's see that one. Quarterback three, Mooney, Dyler, Stanford. And that's it for the top ones, as you can see. And now it's the twos. And let's see how this goes. I got two late second round picks. And, and I don't have much on my board. Let me tell you, I got enough for one of those picks. And then that's going to be it. And the rest are going to just be... Gambles the rest of the way through. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. All right, I'll let you know when something happens. And it immediately does as the um, QB4 goes off the board. 23rd on the list, 33 to the Falcons. We also drafted a quarterback. See, that's what's wrong with Madden is that they drafted the number one quarterback. And now they have the another quarterback in second round so that's just this poor it should automatically wipe off their thing that they don't need a quarterback go to the next biggest need it doesn't so they picked two quarterbacks really high up i've done that too though i did that with bronson walsh and, and uh donald groves or whatever or was it i don't remember maybe i didn't uh this is worth him Mooney, Peyton Mooney, Dryer, Weldon, Carter, Nanny. Evans, Forbes, Ball, Nanny, there you go. Dang. So this is a left guard. He was 50th on the board and as a possible pick for me and he's already gone so early. Need to put some more people on the board on my list so I know Peyton Mooney, Dryer, Weldon Harden, Granny. Dryer. Taylor Dryer. 24 year old. Green room participant. Going 43rd to the Bucks. Still two people. Painting money. There goes money. He goes to the Steelers. Tenth person on the board. 46 to the Steelers. Let's go Nickerson. Come in. All in. Gary Payton goes. There is the end of the green room. Goes to the Cowboys. 50th. 8th on the board. So I was going to say if if, uh, if he was still there, 
I was going to take a chance on him. That just fills in all that and leaves us with not great. It's so bad. I just don't know how to explain it to you how, how this, uh, oops. This one is kind of bad. And Adrian Wall fell off the board. He was, uh, Linebacker 5, 54th on the board. They projected him to be undrafted red talent. Oh, lost there. Rootledge. Trey Rootledge is a 53. 6th round talent. Going in the second round here. I pretty much have two people left on my board. Quarterback Weldon. KJ Weldon. Quarterback three. He was undrafted talent. 54 to the Titans. I spelled Titans wrong. Can't click on things. Who are you picking? Beanie. Man. So wide receiver. Lenrick. Beanie. Uh, five to the Rams. Sixth round talent. Red player. Blackshear. Ivory Blackshear was 67th on the board. He goes to the Browns as well. And are just picking seventh round talent. Picking all the good ones. I know I said I would just pause it and you guys would just see it. Um, I know the Seahawks are picking. They're going to pick Julian Painter. Julian Painter, I bet. There he is right there. That's, that's, um, that would be my pick. There's Joel Harden too. Did he? Oops. Did we see him on the board? Oh man, he's good too. I think Julian Painter is better though. So. And no, they went Woodson. Demarcus Woodson, a sixth round sixth round talent running back. Scouted him. Scouted all these players. And here we are, two picks away from ours. I don't think. They're both picking safeties. They pick a defensive tackle, trainer, and Dean. Oh my goodness, we got we got a possibility here. Um, Joel Harden is a mid round, second round talent. Julian Painter is a second round, late second round talent. And all we have is the Bengals in between us, so. And he's sixth on the board, so there's a good chance that we can do both of these. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Joel Harden, 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 Joel Harden here with my pick. Normal development, 71 overall, 75th in true talent, 88 speed, free safety, strong safety. Okay, okay. The Bengals took. Uh, Justice. So now we're at the Lions pick. And I think this Lions pick Oh, I picked up a fourth and a seventh. I didn't make a good 
good note about that one, darn it. This is not my second round, so this must not be... Oh, this must be the Washington football team. The fourth and seventh round pick. Um, yep, Jabari Mack for their second round and fourth round pick. 57th. And 121. And they actually picked 63rd, so did a little better than expected as they lost the Super Bowl. All right, here we go. We're going to make our selection. And it is going to be the other strong safety, Julian Porter. What do you say, buddy? 75 overall, 23rd in true talent, 91 speed. Okay. Julian Porter. Taking them 63rd. Attackers. No, uh, no quick dev or anything like that, but... Pointer, Julian Pointer, strong safety. 25, he's 22. True talent was 23rd. Thank you, Lions, for very nice, strong safety. It's gonna be a while before we pick again, and I'm probably gonna trade this pick away. I don't think I'm gonna have anything available. Um, my team, strong safeties. Our second round pick. Oh, he's not on the team yet. Oh, he's at 71. So Jonathan Billups. Mm. Was in a position of need, I guess. Oh, boy. Not a position of need, but... Nothing I can do about it. Um, we are not going to address our positions of need. Okay. See you at some point. And Jacoby Mullins went the next pick to the 49ers. And he is a Undrafted talent picked in the third round. And the Lions pick Sheffield. Medium. Oh my goodness, there goes another one. Undrafted talent. Wide receiver. Bengals. I don't think this is a very good draft class. Like these rounds right here. At least I couldn't find anyone. Couldn't find anyone. Derek Daniels goes off the board. Another red player. So that's all I scouted for some odd reason. 78. Through the Steelers. Undrafted talent. Not a great. I'm sure, there's somebody in here. Jared Robinson is a quarterback. I need a backup quarterback, but. He was undrafted talent. Undrafted talent. Black goes. Middle linebacker. Great combine, but undrafted talent. So athletic, but the skills aren't there. So project player, maybe? I don't know. Easton.
mix. Sean Mix, another middle linebacker that just didn't have any seventh round talent. 87 to the Rams. We're getting to Mars next. Pretty close here. Gibson. Sullivan. Phil Moore Sullivan. Wide receiver. Seventh round talent. Taken in the late third round. We are on the board. We are trading away this pick because I got nothing on my board. But before we do, I'm just going to go and show you what we got for options here. So we should have Justice as the first one. No. Devon Justice is not on this list. Clover. Gross, Snell, Vance, Babers. So, where did Justice go? Justice actually had fourth round talent. There he is. Cornerback. Oh, okay. So, he went... I missed it. Um, 62 to the Browns. He selected a lot of ours. <laughs> Rootledge, Blackshear, and Justice. All scouted by me and taken by the Browns. Alright, what do we got? We got trade back. We don't trade back. So this is a third for second round next year. Second round next year, which one is earlier? Raiders are earlier. We're going to take the Raiders pick and trade this pick away for the Raiders pick. Let's see. This is just... Zero points for that. Let me put this down in my draft tracker. Or my trade. Trading away. What are we trading away? 3x29. Raiders. Raiders for three three. There. 2x55. And the Raiders select Fred Trio. I don't know what it is. I'll have to look that up. Okay, back to the draft tracker. This is how bad it is. This is my, I made my only trade I can do. We are now at the uh, Snell is the only one that has draftable talent. And it's seventh round talent. And he's 140th on the board. So let's look at our available choices. Got a cord. This wide receiver. Mac McGill. Got good jumping. 
decent skills. I mean, there's a reason they're skipping them, obviously. Too many talented. Too many talents this late now, you know? I'm gonna go and um, take a shot at Mac Miguel. 66 overall, 206th in talent. I should have known better. Draft him at 98. So bad. This was my trade with the Washington football team. My sixth round pick, they gave me a fourth and a seventh. I just picked up a not great wide receiver. Okay, so we're going to pick Dillard Phillip, a blocking tight end. Very strong. Got a bing on it. So um, this is a very strong mean. 82 strength. It's 54th in true talent. Drafted him at 125, so uh, 72 overall tight end. Okay. Check our hand at this mid fifth round selection. Uh, Julius Cash, fast safety, playmaker. Got a bang on it too. 67th in true talent, 71 overall, 92 speed. So a little raw, but got some good skills and got a, a safety that might be on the practice squad. All right, everyone off my board was drafted except for Marcus Favors. Um, we just have to find them. So it's go Snell and Vance. There's Snell. Quarterback, Bengals. This one has seventh round talent. This might be an okay pick in the fifth round, I guess. Is that the fifth round? Yeah, it's the fifth round. Bengals. That was like. Uh, Ghost and Vance. There's Vance, cornerback. Undrafted talent. Taken 144 by the Chargers. And then Ghost, I saw. Gauss. Wide receiver. Gauss. Taken. 149 by the Ravens. And our pick. We're going to select my last one that I ran out of points for, but looked very interested in. And that would be back Marcus Favors. The fastest corner in the draft. He did not bing. 64 overall. 347, but 94 speed. Taking 157. It's a good pick, huh? Because he has 94 speed. I don't know. Let me write that down. That was our fifth round pick here. I think it was sixth rounder, but... Back 54 overall, 23, 347th in talent. That's a plus 190. Ugh. Julian Pointer and we had a couple of like overdrafts basically, but some very underdrafts too. Um, there's no one left on my board, so we're just going to skip ahead to the next user pick. And see what's available in the speed wide receiver that's not fast. Possession wide receiver that's really not fast. First all right end. Balance running back. Ball carrier vision and spin move is his top two. Receiver, slow wide receiver. I don't need any more safeties. Red zone threat wide receiver. 
big tall wide receiver. Turn stopping right end. Back. Good cone and shuttle. Don't know much about him though. I don't see any middle linebackers. Yep, middle linebackers don't exist anymore. Who is the fastest middle linebacker? Boise State cover two middle linebacker. It's fast. Let's take a shot at Michael Waters here. It's a bing! 68. 290th. It's 68 overall, 88 speed. Okay. This is the what we got from the Rams for Clarence Cone or for Antonio Load. We got Karen, Clarence Cone in their sixth round pick, and we picked up a Project linebacker. So, here's your pick. Make your selection six twenty nine now. All wide receiver. We're kind of in the no man's land of strong, strong center. Can't teach strength. Let's take this. Uh, Strong center. The ping, 68 overall. 82 strength. Did I pick the right one? Maybe I didn't pick the right one. Yeah, I think so. Strength is disappointing. You know, we gotta pick a quarterback too. Might make the team, might not. 68, 22, 185. Hey, plus, minus four. Alright, seventh round pick is next. Have two picks left. We need a backup quarterback. We got Mar Glacius. It's impossible to tell if they're going to be any good, um, but we don't want the mobile quarterbacks. There's so many undrafted. We're gonna t we're gonna take a Mar Glace. 57, holy cow, 444th in true talent. B, 57, 23, 44 in true talent. That's plus 250. That's crazy. And this is our last pick. And with our last pick, so if you're a speed receiver and you don't have speed, that makes you really not good, you know? And his speed. Four three four. And we just either keep that quarterback that we drafted as our backup, because if we I don't know. Depends on what's available.
Fifth in speed. It's not gonna be that great. Like that's not gonna be great and good enough. Let me pick another quarterback. And he's fifty-six in overall talent. Drafting two quarterbacks at the end there. Neither of them. Neither of them are good. Good. New good boss. But, you know what? We could get the plus five, which would actually be plus one. And they'll still not be good. So we traded away one pick, our third round, late third round for a mid to late second round pick. Did I? You know what? You like I messed up. Okay, I just thought it maybe I messed up on my uh my thing here, but I didn't. So got Blackburn here. Look at our draft tracker. Darius Church. Case and Wims is on the left side for some reason. Church is on the right because they don't do this well. But that is an improvement over Schmidt for sure. We didn't get a corner, so we're rolling. Rolling some weak corners. Get a middle linebacker either. Maybe Walden wants to play middle linebacker. I don't think so. Hmm, Kelsey Steed. Let Michael Weldon plays. What is his awareness? Sixty-four, seventy-three. Maybe Stinson moves to right outside linebacker. Kelsey Steed.
Stinson probably had more sacks in the postseason than he did, than Kelsey did all year. Even four and a half. Just thinking, thinking, thinking. Offensively, it's pretty straightforward. Emil Gates versus Haywood. Haywood is a power back. Gates is... Feedback and Bucky is a power back. We got our corner quarterbacks. We got to do the plus fives and all that stuff still. I'm just kind of looking. Can we go? Position changes until after we get to preseason. Maybe the Kelsey Steed era is over. Move Stitz and I just don't think I have enough left outside linebackers then. Quarterbacks, three quarterbacks. The running backs of doom. Jeffrey Lucky is a 21 year old running back. Just looking. 